there and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name is Alice and today we are in my kitchen because happy Halloween day. Today is the 31st of October. I hope you're going to be celebrating Halloween in a safe and fun way. Excuse the tippy tapper you're probably going to hear throughout this video. The dogs are walking around and we have laminate floor. This year I thought we'd do something different. We've done Halloween costumes in the past. We've done jack-o'-lanterns in the past. So today we're in the kitchen to do some cooking. Specifically some Tesco themed cooking. Though other supermarkets are available. Because you know that feels like something I have to say. If anyone doesn't know it's just Tesco's is just a big brand supermarket here in the UK. They do these nice little magazines. Which are free by the way. Just in case you didn't know. Um, I think they do the monthly, and in each of them they normally have themed treats and things and recipes and the such. So I saw the cover and went, they look fun, let's give those a go. There's also something else we're going to try today which is not quite Halloween specific, it's more like bonfire-y specific, but they're microwave little cakes, microwave cakes, so that would take like four seconds to do. So instead, I thought we'd do a couple of things. So today, to stop rambling, what are we cooking? We are cooking these jack-o'-lantern orange um, mug cakes, microwave cakes. They're kind of like mug cakes, but they're in an orange, not a mug. And we are going to be making these apple, toffee apple donuts. They're like little mini donuts. This is either gonna go well or it's gonna go bad. That's for your entertainment's sake. We're gonna start with the jack-o'-lantern cakes. As I said, I don't think they're gonna take us that long. We've also got multiple cameras dotted around the kitchen, so we've got all the angles. I just remembered I forgot to start one. So I'm over here, I'm gonna be behind me as well. We've got all the camera angles and everything is good to go. For your entertainment to capture me, probably making a mess of all of this. So let's get started by getting everything we need out for the jack-o'-lantern microwave cakes, and let's get started. What we need for this is four large oranges, seven tablespoons of self-raising flour, five tablespoons of caster sugar, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of sunflower oil, and a medium egg. I don't think that's per thing. Cool, let's get all that stuff out and let's get going. Oh yeah, all of the recipes for this stuff will be down in the description below, uh, nice and laid out. It will be in UK measurements rather than anything else, so you may have to do some conversions if you're in the States or something, but all of the recipes for everything I'm doing are going to be down in that good little description box below. What we're going to do first is make the cake, which is backwards to what it says, and then I'm going to cut the orange. Wait, that's why it says orange juice, because I juice the oranges once I... Don't need none of this crap, hang on. I apologise to the recipe, it didn't lie to me. Okay, so I'm not going to make the cake first, because if I do that, then I won't have any orange juice for my cake. So, we're going to get to the chopping of the oranges first. This is probably not going to go very well. I need a chopping board. So let's get some an orange out and let's see what we're supposed to do for step one. Slice the top of one orange and set the side. Holding it over the bowl to catch the juice, run a small serrated knife, sure, around the inside of the skin and remove most of the flesh. Your dessert scheme to slip it out if you don't get down, you don't need to get down to the white pith. So let's just cut his head off about there. And then kind of go around the edge. He said you didn't need to get down to the white pith. Oopsie, I think that's exactly how far down I went. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're supposed to do this over the bowl to catch the juices. I'm good at this, as you can tell. This is totally why I don't do any cooking thingies, or many cooking thingies on the channel. So let's just kind of squidge him out there. What do I do with this bit of orange once I'm done with it? I need another bowl, clearly. For my orange bits. Okay, we're gonna use a mug with an A on it that's massive and for soup, for disregarded orange bits. Have a dessert spoon and we're ready to go with the old Carvalicious. Because I think they're like Jaffa cake chocolate orange cakes, right? Um, what do we think? Do we think that's okay? Let's try and do a bit. <laughs> It's a bit like a pumpkin at this point, like you want to get all the guts out. We're going to call that done. Do I need to do all of my oranges now, do we think? Like cling film to secure... Wait. Ah, oh, cling film more on the edges. 
Then repeat with the reigning oranges and reserve the juices. Okay, so it wants me to cut out the facial features here first and then get some clean film. So let's try that. This is probably gonna go wrong. We kind of want a little bit of a triangle here. God, what do you feel? Um da -da 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 -da. Bonk. Where did that go? Because we need that out. Lovely. One one eye. How are they on the front? Are they God. This is just gonna be a mess. I'm just I'm not the biggest fan of orange, <laughs> and now my hands are going to stink of orange for the rest of the day, so probably shouldn't have started with this. But here we are. Oh god, too far, too far. Da -da 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 -da. Two eyes. He's kind of cute. Let's just give him a little normal smile, maybe. We'll get a bit adventurous as we go on. Da -da 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 da 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 Oh, he's cute. Adorable. A little orange. Okay, now I need cling film because I can't put uh, I can't put tin foil in the microwave. It'll explode. So I really hope we've got some cling film now, or this is going to get. Oh, thank God for that. We have cling film. Okay. So now what I need to do basically is wrap the edges of the orange. So when I pour the cake in, it doesn't all come shooting out the sides. It really only just needs to cover his little face though, doesn't it? Just to stop his face escaping. Sure, this will work. All right, let's call that one done. He's ready to go. Uh, and now I'm gonna whiz through and do the other four. I'm trying to redeem myself from the failure that was the mulled wine video because that was awful, genuinely awful, uh, really didn't work. I definitely left it to simmer way too long and basically just drained off all of the mulled wine. I basically did an entire bottle of wine on that. That's just gutting. Okay, so that is the final little orange guy done. Um, now we move on to actually making the cake. So we currently have our bowl full of, you can't see it as I tip, but there you go, our bowl full of orange juice here, uh, which is the starting point. So now moving on to number three. Put the remaining ingredients into the bowl with a tablespoon of the orange juice. Sure, that's a tablespoon. Um, whisk until combined and smooth. So we're just gonna go and just put everything in that needs to go in. That was so smooth. I think there's shell in there. Got it. A little bit of crunch never hurt no one, you know what I mean? This spoon is miles too big for the size of this bowl. 70, I need my little measuring things. Here's one I had prepared earlier. You're a teaspoon, I need tip spoons, which is probably the big guy. One tablespoon. Right, so, seven tablespoons of self-raising flour. How many of sugar? Five. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. Three tablespoons of oil. Okay. I'm using olive oil. According to my mum, sunflower oil and olive oil are close enough. So if these taste like crap, we're gonna blame her. And then we're just gonna mix all this together and hopefully it turns into a nice chocolatey gooey mess. Okay, let's have a little taste. There's our dark chocolate. Maybe we should put a bit more orange juice in there. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Working one at a time, half fill an orange with the cake mixture, transfer to microwave plate and microwave on 700 watts for two minutes. 
The cake may spill out the top a little, but don't worry. Okay, so let's go with filling cake number one. I'm probably using the wrong spoon for this process, but you can start to see his little face coming through, which is cute. Let's try it with this guy then. So we're gonna put him in the microwave, which is there, for um, two minutes on 700. So uh, I should probably put it on a plate. In case it decides to fall over. It's already oozing out the front, which is marvelous. Uh oh, don't fall over, sir. Okay, so we don't have 700 watts on this microwave. So we're gonna do it 600 um, for two and a half minutes. Let's see if that works. It does smell very chocolate orange when it's in the orange. This is going for a while. Oh my god. <laughs> it's erupted out the top. <laughs> Who thought this was going to go well? Who genuinely sat there and clicked on this video and thought this has gone well? What is that noise? Oh my god. Who literally, did any of you actually think this was gonna go well? I'm not gonna put any more in that, actually, funnily enough, having just watched one erupt. I'll probably just stick to what it's told me and try and keep it about halfway. The beeps of my failure. Shall we go get it? Ta-da! <laughs> in my defense, it does say the cake may spill up the top a little, but don't worry. I mean, that's a lot more than a little, but whatever. Um, remove the cling film and set aside. And remove the orange plugs. What are the orange plugs? Oh my god, I wasn't supposed to take the bits out. We'll assess the situation in a minute, but as you can see, the poor thing is its just... It doesn't actually look that bad now I've taken the cling film off. Um, but the cake has erupted. Here is the little chocolate orange cake I've made. You can still hear the microwave going in the background because the other three are still going round because they're still wet after a minute and 45 on 900 watts. I don't know why, I'm confused, but it's still warm. I should probably let it to cool a little bit more, but I want to eat it so we can move on from this disaster. So, let's tuck into his head. I mean, I do have this bit around the edge I could just eat, but I want to try the bit in the orange because I think... Yeah, we're gonna get this effect where, oh my god, it's steaming. Basically, the bit around the edge, it's not focusing. But the bit around the edge that was on the edge of the orange is now gonna be infused with the orange edging. It smells really good. I mean, that's a little bit disappointing. I don't know if I can get more orange. I can't really taste the orange flavor. It just tastes like a dry chocolate cake, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but this very much could be my fault, so I don't want to judge the cake too hard. Yeah, the orange taste just isn't coming through very much. So that is just like a chocolate cake in an orange, which is cute and novel, but now I don't know why it's in an orange, apart from to look like a pumpkin. Um, they are listed as chocolate orange cakes, so I think the orange should be more there. Obviously, we have a lot of orange left over so if you wanted to make it more orangey put more orange juice in the actual batter so yeah a semi success I suppose on those but if you want them to taste more orangey I'd add more than a tablespoon I don't know if we had a tablespoon in there um, in the end but I'd definitely add more orange flavor into the batter if you were wanting to also this is how much batter I've got left over and all of them have overflowed so I don't know grab some mugs Make some mug cakes. Just if you're putting mugs in the microwave, make sure they don't have any metal on them because they will explode. Oh, also, I should have said, if you're doing things with knives, be careful. Okay, now we come to the second thing, which is a little less Halloween-y, but still a decent little treat, which is our apple, toffee apple donuts. These are going to require frying on the stove, so I'm scared about that. Uh, but let's, again, collect up everything we need, clear away the things we don't need from the last one, clean this because I've got orange on the side, uh, and then we'll go back ready to go for number two. Alright, I'm pretty confident we have everything we need. 
Uh, we're not making the caramel sauce because I don't have any whipping cream, but I'm going to put the, uh, the recipe for the caramel sauce down in the description box along with the recipe, which this time is 200 grams of plain flour, 550 grams even of corn flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, four tablespoons of caster sugar, one medium egg beaten, 250 to 300 millimeters of cider, or if you don't drink, sparkling apple juice, Sunflower oil for frying, three Reuben's apples, I've got gala apples because I couldn't buy Reuben's apples, uh, for washed, cored and sliced, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So that's everything we need, which is everything you can see here. How much is actually in this? Oh no, there's too much, what a shame, I'll have to have a drink. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get going with this and start making our, <sighs> our donuts. I appreciate I've not chosen easy things to make. Well, to be fair, the cakes should have been easy. And maybe they are, who knows. Um, but I appreciate this is not the easiest thing to make. Again, this is not strictly Halloween-y, but I thought the cakes would take a lot less time than they just did. And to be fair, when I have time lapse and stuff, maybe they will. Um, and I also thought it'd be fun to do a couple of treats just in case one completely failed. You know, I would ride my hopes on the more difficult of the two. But let's get started, let's stop rambling, and let's get going with our donuts. So the first thing we need to do is make the caramel sauce, which we're not doing. So great, we can move on from that. Now we go to step two, which combines flour, corn flour, baking powder, tablespoon, and salt. Didn't tell me I needed. There's also granulated sugar, not caster sugar. I don't know what the difference is. I only have one in the house, so. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Was that seven or six? I think this is eight. I, I don't know. Put like a little bit more. I don't. I lost count. I was getting confused by noises and I totally just lost count. Hopefully, I didn't just put nine in. Hopefully, I put seven and a half in, which is fine. Whisk in the egg and enough cider to make it thick and smooth. Okay. I should probably whisk the egg before we go, shouldn't I? Let's get the cider going. What does it say? 250 to 300. So let's put 250 in here first. I need to put the egg in. I can't be bothered to whisk it outside the bowl, so it's just going in. Nice clean in there. Do you say this is correct? Sod it, this is what we're working with. This is what we have. I have no idea if it's correct, but here we go. Um, mix the cinnamon and remaining sugar in a separate... No, what do you mean? Oh my god. One, one tablespoon of sugar. Holy shit. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why can't I do simple things like follow instructions? These are gonna be so sweet. How bad is it? I'm not going to know until I've made them. It doesn't taste that bad in the bowl. It's not like... <laughs> Basically, what I was supposed to do at the end was dust them with sugar. Which I'm now not going to do because all the sugar is in the bowl. God damn it, Alice. Let's put some bloody cinnamon in here then, shall we? Why not? Because I'm not going to put it on the top because I absolutely messed it up. That may have been a bit too much cinnamon. <laughs> All right, I've got to cut and dice the apples now anyway. I think, oh, well, I've got a cora, but I think it's a cora and a slicer and that's not what we want. I'm just upset now. It's a cora, but it's also a slicer and that's not what we want, so. Well, this is gonna be fun. Where are my apples? I 
Okay, that's cool, that's sliced. Let's take all this shit over to behind me and see what we can do with it, shall we? Let's, let's go. Right, first things to do is to fill this up about a third of the way with the oil. Third of the way from the sides, warm it over medium until it reaches 180 or until a small cube of bread turns brown in one minute. We're not putting bread in it. Work in batches, dip the apple rings into the batter to fry for about four minutes. I need a system here uh, where I have a thing on the ready on hand to... I'm looking for my th thermometer. Down. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here so we can get a gauge on the temperature, but I don't want it on the bottom, I want it in the thing. So it may just be better that I hold it actually. Put it there for actually that's going to conduct all the bloody uh, hot stuff. So I need this one on. Okay, we'll just let that warm up. And whilst that's warming up, I'm going to prepare a plate with a tea roll so we can tea roll, kitchen roll. So we have somewhere to put. Okay, that's about 180. So I'm going to just bring this down to the heat below is at a simmer. So it doesn't get, not off, but a simmer. So it doesn't get too much hotter, so I'm gonna try this. We take the apple, we dip the apple in the batter, like so, and then shake off the excess. It's gonna get messy, pop that in there. For four minutes, maybe? Let's do another one. Oh no. Up to the bottom. Ah! This has not gone well. I need them to be free falling. Be free falling, sir! Do you think I've got to flip them at some point? Do you that be a good idea? This is stuck. Okay, okay, they're moving now. They're grooving, it's great, it's wonderful. Let's go for a flip. Yeah! Where now flip, you flip, we flip. Okay, that one was just a little bit early. How do I know when they're done? Okay, I'm gonna go with this one being finished. Now I need to go a little bit more time. So again, I don't want to run the edges as well on these ones because I want the whole dang apple covered. All right, well here we go. Here is our kind of attempt at the toffee apple donuts. Obviously, we don't have the caramel sauce to go with them. Basically, they're just deep fried apples. I think I sliced the slices too thick, um, but let's have a taste and see how they are. Mm. I can't really get much of a taste of anything, to be honest. It's crispy, which is nice. The apples got nice and soft in the middle, which is nice. I think I can taste the cider? I don't know. It's okay. I'm not mad at it. I don't think they're right. I don't think I've done very well on what they're supposed to be, looking at the picture versus what I, what I have. The expectation versus reality is, was, is left to be desired. But... It'll be interesting to taste them when they're cold, because at the moment they're still quite warm. Which is quite nice. Um, I'm not mad at them at all, they're quite nice. They're quite lovely. They've got a nice crispiness to them. Obviously they are just an apple uh, deep fries. If you take this off, we did have an apple left on the inside. The batter itself is quite nice. It doesn't really have much of a flavor to it. There's a sweetness to it, funny that. But that's kind of, it's kind of all the flavor I'm getting is just a sweetness. It doesn't really taste of anything. So there you are, that is it. That is our Halloween treats for today. We kind of made some chocolate orange uh, mug cakes in oranges and we kind of made some toffee apple donut-ish things more like deep fried donut at the end deep fried apple even in the end 
I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said at the start, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween if you celebrate it. If not, here's a funny video for you, hopefully, in me absolutely failing to make things. If there's anything you want to see me bake moving into the future, moving into November, any Christmassy treats for December, please let me know down in the coffee pot down below and I will do my best to make them to make that happen. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some good old fashioned love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video! Were you waiting for some spooks? Gotta keep you on your toes.